I will still be a self-advocate and do, do my best to balance, um, to be a self-advocate and to balance what I say to people if something negatively impacts my life, no matter what it is. You have some times in life you really need to speak up for yourself because if you don't, then it's gonna be a problem later. I see the biggest challenge that we face at this point is the fact that what we've built is so terribly fragile and so uh, close, it could so easily disappear with just like that. You know, COVID, it's been tough. COVID has been hard. But, you know, at the end of this, there will have been innovations because that's the other thing that humans do. You know, there are, we, we have more expanded use of technology than ever before. People are being able to use telehealth care. I hope we can continue that in successful ways than ever before. You know, there have been, there have been new roads built. Why don't we take this opportunity to build some new roads for this group too, so that they have an opportunity to maybe, maybe have a better outcome. We are going to come out of the woodwork and we are going to show you, we can work, we can count, we can do a lot of things that you can do if you give us time. Our greatest most important challenge is to be able to provide individualized, integrated, independent, person-centered support services to meet the growth potential needs of disabled individuals. The fact that we don't include families comes is a legacy, is our legacy of clients being in the institutions and of families for whatever reasons having removed themselves. and for us and us purposely fully removing them. So we have to build our what if to not just include, include um, people being able to share gifts in the community, but the people who love them to be able to benefit from them and them benefit. It's an interrelation. It's an interdependence. And we've never thought about people with DD being able to be reciprocal relationships because of whatever bias we have in our heads about people with DD. But the truth is, is, is we are, the, our what if for the future is that people with DD are included in this idea of having reciprocal relationships in the community and with our family and our loved ones and our friends. There also remains a lot of work that needs to be done on in truly integrating children in the school systems. We are still overly restrictive. What if we had a system that really looked at children as potential? Really, and I know, I know you'd like to say we have it now, but we only sort of have it now. What if we could identify kids and identify the, a kid's potential needs and give them what they need so that they were able to develop despite the genetic whatever that happened or the substance abuse that happened? What if we could, we could compensate and provide true early intervention so that these places where people are born are not able to rule their entire life? What if you didn't necessarily need to know how to advocate as a parent, and yet your kids still might get the services? Everything is so reliant right now on the parent knowing the questions to ask or the words to use or have the money to buy. What if that didn't exist? What if, what if we looked at all babies as the potential of for the world, the potential next amazing whatever, every single baby, 
And what if, as they developed and we identified strengths and weaknesses, what if we focused on those strengths and focused on those weaknesses and gave them what they needed to develop early, immediately? And what if we didn't blame the parents about that for whatever situation they came in? What if we didn't blame the parents for not having the education or be living in a poor situation or being rich? What if we didn't blame the parents for anything and we just wrapped around a series of support so that that potential child, that potential in that child was able to come out? What if we viewed that as important as today's stock prices? What if we viewed that as important, as important as whatever commodity of the day it is? Can you imagine the potential of what we could do? This is the importance of early intervention. Early intervention is looking and celebrating milestones of what a child is doing and identifying if there's some need that that child might have that we try to give it. That the payoff for that action, huh, it would change the world. But it would take a little bit of time to change the world. What if we could have a long view and not an immediate view? What if even though we like to think in sound bites these days and headlines, we could have a thermometer that says we're getting there? And taking the time for this human being is worth it. What if we could feel really, 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 really psyched when a kid who hasn't said his first word yet says his first word? What if we could celebrate that and feel such payoff that like, like, like our best football team won the Super Bowl? What if it felt that good? Just what if? I wish it would be what we want to do and make it easier. I do think at some point I would like to do some more public speaking around self-advocacy on uh, disability rights. I would, I would um, like to be eventually um, legally married without it affecting any of what is helping us financially and our services as well. I think that everybody with a disability should have natural supports over the job, the job coaching, make it a little easier and, and have somebody in the job uh, work with you and make it, make it easier. I'm happy for, I'm happy for this small community. And like I said, a small community can make a difference. If we have a long way to go as far as accessibility out out in the community, Make, making it easy, making it more accessible and easier for people with disabilities to vote. Because right now, I feel like we're not all on a level playing field. And what would things look like? You know, what would it look like if if the mother down the street who doesn't have any other family had a connection to somebody who really could help take care of their kid while they went and got a mammogram. What if, what if we had a way of, of looking at our gifts and resources as uh, our, our gifts as the resources, as community resources? And it may have nothing to do with money, but I'll tell you, it would be good for the economy. I realized that if I want to be taken seriously in my chosen field, I kind of have to have some of the credentials to go along with it. Somewhere down the road, I can get married and uh, like, like Kyle, so I don't have to be single for the rest of my life and not uh, have my parents telling me what to do all the time. You know, it just gets frustrating. Yeah, I'm working on going back to college for heavy machinery operation. You need to change things for the better. You need to change things to help other people. And you'd be a better person yourself. And then people would notice you and say, that's a good person right there. 
we never thought she could be. Looking at the future, there are some things in the, in the process right now that would be amazing. Like, what if in Maine, people with developmental disabilities and their families had better access to direct their own services? What if you were able to take an individual from down the street who really cares about the individual who has needs and be able to pay them a little bit to be able to provide an hour of need when they needed it, as opposed to trying to find somebody willing to work for an hour when they when that staff person needs eight hours of work, really. What if we could use our money differently so that people were able to have supported work environments without necessarily having a staff person always looking at you? but yet the staff person still gets paid if they need you. What if we created and built our communities in which people who had needed support got the support and people who, who, who provided the support was compensated and valued in the way that, that that was wonderful. What if we viewed our resources and our human capital differently? Um, what if we got to, to self-direct our services so that we could provide our gifts to everybody else? What if there was an automatic benefit to society of being alive? Every one of us, all of us, all the time. I could be a self-advocate. I could speak up for myself, speak up for others, and kind of make try to make changes in my lives to make it better and others to make their lives better. 